This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check the links in the description. Modeling chocolate. In this video, we're talking about Satin Ice's Choco Pan Modeling Chocolate. And what we have here is the bright white color. Comes in a couple of different sizes, and these pails have great resealable lids, which is fantastic. It's gonna help keep your modeling chocolate from drying out, which it can do. And you'll notice it also comes with a bag inside, and the modeling chocolate will be inside that. You wanna make sure that you keep the bags, don't throw them out. When you're done uh, portioning off what you need, you wanna rewrap the product and make sure, right, that it's down in there and it has a nice seal. Typically, I use the twist, turn it upside down, and plop it back in there upside down because that keeps a nice seal on it, right? It'll keep it from drying out. And I generally use something like a bench scraper just to cut off what I need, and then I'll start working with it. And you can see, like I just cut off a little section, and it's pretty um, stiff right now, right? It's breaking and kind of tearing apart, and you can kind of see, right, that it's kind of firm but just a little heat from your hands will warm it up to a nice pliable texture, right? You can see it's already becoming more elastic, right? And the outside, it's just nice and smooth, just with a little heat from my fingers, right? And that's the chocolate in this doing its job, right? It's gonna kind of start to warm up and become more elastic, right? Just at body heat. So you can warm it up pretty easily and then it's ready to color if you wanna make different colors, right? But this also comes in a variety of colors too, so you can buy them pre-colored. Or to roll out if you're gonna make things like appliques to press into molds, if you're gonna use molds to make figurines, which is probably the most popular use for it because it's actually blendable since it'll kind of start to, um, not, I wouldn't say really melt, but soften with body heat. You can actually make different parts of figurines and then just by holding your fingers on top of it just to heat the surface up, then you can blend those together. So you can get really seamless, beautiful figurines without the seams that you would get from making them with gum paste. It's also relatively stable and sturdy as well, making it a popular tool for decorators, especially those who like to do lifelike creations, right? Or really kind of hyper-realistic stuff. Um, in addition to that, you can use it to make flowers and you can also use it the way you would fondant to cover cakes. In this case, you can roll it out super thin, which makes it nice and economical, right? Uh, in general, modeling chocolate uh, will set you back a little more than say fondant, but since you can roll it thinner, it's often a little more economical to use for covering cakes and it tastes a lot better since it tastes like chocolate. So it has some pluses in that you can use it like you would fondant and you can also use it like you would gum paste, right? So it's a nice product to have on hand and allow you to do a variety of different decorative tasks. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.